I know you guys don't like to raise your hands, but just to comfort me, humor me. How many here like Star Wars? I was afraid of that. Oh, here we go. Okay, we got a few. Getting a little better. They've come out with a series off, based off of Star Wars called The Mandalorians. My son is an over-the-top Star Wars, we'll call him an aficionado, just to be nice. But he was telling me about these Mandalorians and how they are a race of people who are warriors but live by a very strict code. In fact, one of the oddities of their code is that the helmet that they wear, they can never take off in front of another person. Should anyone else see their face, they would never be allowed to put the helmet back on again. And when someone in the show asked him why, he simply said, this is the way. And this phrase is repeated oftentimes throughout the show when referring to the Mandalorian. When they talk about their principles, the response in unison is, this is the way. What they were saying, as I thought about this, is that this is the proper way to behave, to be successful. This is our way of life. This is the code in which we live by. This is what we follow. And nothing will get in the way of the way. I got thinking about that. You know what? We live by the way. We could say this is the way. And that's what I want to look at tonight. That we have the same code as the Mandalorians. We have a guiding way that we follow. And nothing can obstruct it. Nothing can direct us off of it. Because this is the way. Now, I want to take a look at this tonight. Uh, I did mention to Scott that I think I'm going to be fairly short with it tonight. He got really excited, which concerned me a little bit. But uh, at, least it's, at least it'll please him. So I'm, I'm, I'm okay with that. The first thing I want to look at when we look at the way is that Jesus, he is the way. He even said so himself. He said in John chapter 14, verses 4 and 6, And you know the way to where I am going. And Thomas said to him, Lord, we don't know where you're going. How can we know the way? And Jesus said to them, I am the way, the truth, and the life. No one comes to the Father except through me. Jesus is saying, you want it salvation? You want to be pleasing to God? Look at what I taught you. I am the way. That's how you please God. By following my example. By following my teachings. In John 10 verses 9, we learn that Jesus is the way to salvation. He says, I am the door. If anyone enters by me, he will be saved and will go in and out and find, and find pasture. When you have a building like this, well, let's say we don't have the door here, we have one door in the back. That's the only way in and out of the building. That's the way. And the only way to get out of the building is we have to follow the path that was prepared for us to the way. And Jesus is saying, I am that way. If you want the path of salvation, it goes through me. In Acts chapter 4, verses 11 and 2, or excuse me, verses 11 and 12, he basically says that same thing. This Jesus is the stone that was rejected by you, by you the builders, which has become the cornerstone. And there is salvation in no one else, for there is no other name under heaven given among men by which we must be saved. There is no other way to please God. We cannot follow Buddha. We cannot 
follow um, Muhammad. We cannot follow any of the other gods that are out there and be pleasing to God because they are not the way. They are not the door to salvation. They don't lead us to that place. Unfortunately, what they do is lead us away from that place. But what's really sad is there are thousands and thousands and thousands of people out there calling themselves Christians who are not in the way because they don't follow the way. They say they follow the way, but then they point to the windows and say, try to go out those windows. That's what you got to do. And you pull those down. I, I opened those up the other day just to look, and guess what? They're boarded up. You can't get out that way. In case of fire in this building, that's not the way. That's the way. In fact, we even made sure you understood that's the way because we put the big sign up there that says exit. So you know that's the way. When it comes to our salvation, we are only saved through Jesus Christ. He is the way to salvation. But in our lives, we not only take that way for salvation, it guides us through our lives. That path that we have, we are guided by the way. Just as the Mandalorian, when he comes up to situations in his life and needs to know how he should behave, his first thought is, this is the way. It was interesting. There was a situation where he found a lady in a village that he really liked. And she really liked him and she wanted him to stay. And she started to take off his helmet. And he stopped her. He says, it's tempting. But this is not the way. He was still guided in conflict by the way. The way that teaches him what to do. And that way for us is the gospel of Jesus Christ. In the book of Acts chapter 24, verses 14 and 15, we are told that we are to worship according to the way. It says, but I confess to you that according to the way, which they call a sect, I worship the God of our fathers believing everything laid down by the law and written in the prophets, having a hope in God, which these men themselves accept, that there will be a resurrection of both the just and the unjust. According to the way, I worship our fathers. I worship the God. Excuse me. So we use God's word is our way. And it tells us how we should worship. It tells us that we should sing. It doesn't tell us that we need a 33-piece orchestra and 25 choir members or a band of four or five with electric guitars and organs and flashing lights and strobes holding a concert. It says we are to sing. Why? This is the way. It tells us that we are to take the Lord's Supper on every Sunday to remember our Lord Jesus Christ and his sacrifice. It's not done once a month. It's not done on Easter and Christmas only. It is done every Sunday. Why? This is the way. We provide funds for the church to continue here, for the continue the work here. We give it on Sunday. Why don't we give it on Tuesday or Thursday? Or just when we're having to be passing the building? This is the way. This is the way we were taught how to do it. We don't have an option to change that. That's not the way. So we worship according to the way. We are instructed by the way. It's what teaches us. If you look at Acts chapter 18, verses 24 through 25. Now a Jew named Apollos, a native, Aleza a native of Alexandria. My mouth is just not wanting to work tonight. He came to Ephesus. 
he was an eloquent man, competent in the scriptures. He had been instructed in the way of the Lord. And being fervent in spirit, he spoke and taught accurately the things concerning Jesus, though he knew only the baptism of John. Now we know from reading that he was later further instructed and was baptized in Jesus Christ. But because he knew the way, because he knew the teachings of Jesus Christ, he was able to teach the way so that others would know that guiding focus of their lives, that path that we need to follow. You see, there's a way to God. But there's a way to destruction as well. In the book of Psalms, chapter 1, verse 6, For the Lord knows the way of the righteous, but the way of the wicked will perish. That has got to be our focus. That we have to look for the right way that leads to righteousness, that leads to heaven. And there's only one way to do that, and that's here. Because if we follow the wrong way, we are following the way of the wicked. Jesus said, He that believeth in me and is baptized shall be saved. That's the way. But the world will tell you, all you have to do is believe. You don't have to be baptized. You can be baptized if you want to, but it's an outward sign of an inward salvation that you've already received. But they can't support that with Scripture. It's not the way. That's why it is important for us to study the way. So that we know how to do this. My son and I got into a discussion coming home yesterday. I rode with him to California to drop his daughters off uh, for Christmas with, the, with uh, the, his uh, ex-wife's family. And we talked about how important it was to study. He didn't understand that when he was a teenager. I would explain to him, you can't take my word for it. You can't take the preacher's word for it. You can't take the elder's word for it. Because we might be wrong. You have to study it for yourself. And he didn't understand that then. But he said, now he understands. And he's doing a lot more study. And things are becoming clearer to him. Some of those questions that he asked over and over again, younger, he is now beginning to find the answers for himself. Because he's studying the way. You see, that's the danger when we start listening to man rather than God. We lose our way. And if we don't wake up in time, we end up lost for all eternity. Because it says that the way of the wicked will perish. So you may be going, Mike, what is all this about the way? The way this, the way that, the way, 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 way. Have you lost your mind? What sparked this is when I was reading, I had noticed something I had never noticed before. And the more I looked into it, the more it fascinated me. In one of the, if you remember, I did a sermon quite a while back on historical proofs of Jesus Christ. And in one of those historical quotes, it talked about the evil cult of the way. And you know, when I read that, it went right over my head. And then I noticed in God's word, in fact, let me go back. We've used this verse just a little bit ago. But this I confess to you, and he's talk, this is Paul talking, that according to the way, which they call a sect, I went, wait a minute. That word way is capitalized. It's not a regular word. It's a proper noun. Oop, get back forward. So when I looked into it a little bit more, 
I found out that the Christians in the first century were referred to as the way. Boy, talk about rocking your world after the Mandalorian. <laughs> they are the way. They took on the name that told everybody who they were. Just like the Mandalorian does. When they ask him about why he does what he does, this is the way. The Christians back then had the way, Jesus Christ. They followed the way, the pattern that he laid out for them. And they were called the way. In the book of Acts chapter 9, verses 1 and 2, but, Paul, but Saul, still breathing threats and murders against the disciples of the Lord, went to the high priest and asked him for letters at the synagogue at Damascus, so that he, if he found any belonging to the way, men and women, he might bring them bound to Jerusalem. I was amazed how many times I found references to the way. And in every one, the word way was capitalized. Acts chapter 19, verses 21 through 23. Now after these events, Paul resolved the spirit to pass through Macedonia and Achaia and to go to Jerusalem, saying, After I have been there, I must also see Rome. And having sent into Macedonia two of his helpers, Timothy and Erastus, he himself stayed in Asia for a while. About that time there arose no little disturbance concerning the way. The magistrates in the cities were becoming concerned by the way because it was growing. Earlier in that chapter, verse 9, but when someone became stubborn and continued in unbelief, speaking evil of the way before the congregation, he withdrew from them and took the disciples with them, reasoning daily in the halls of Tyrannus. In other words, someone was talking against the church. It doesn't tell us what he was saying. Maybe he was saying, they're a bunch of cultists, like we saw in one of the history uh, quotes from uh, Tertullian. They believe that they're not going to die. Can you believe that? This way is becoming a problem. But the disciples held to the way. And they were known by that name. In Acts chapter 22, verses 3 and 4. I am a Jew born in Tarsus, in Sicily, but brought up in this city, educated at the feet of Gamaliel, according to the strict manner of the law of our fathers, being zealous for God, as all of you are this day, I, I persecuted the way to the death binding and delivering to prison both men and women. I have mentioned before that the name that we are known by is important. And I was proud of my name until I found out I was named after a dog. But I have a new name. And the name tells everyone who I am and what I do and who I follow. And that name is Christian. I can also go by the way. Because I follow the way. I can go by the way because the way guides my every step. So now I have a newfound respect for the Mandalorian because they understand this is the way. Can we say we are following the way? Do we understand that Jesus Christ is the way, the truth, and the life, and that no man comes to the Father except by Him? Do we understand that the way is what guides us it, what's, it's what instructs us. It tells us how to worship. It tells us how to interact with each other. 
The way is what identifies us as Christians because we follow the way. 